So it's Pride Month, and that means that the conservatives are uh, freaking out about everything gay or gay adjacent. And it's still Miss Rachel. So this is a clip from uh, Charlie Kirk's show with Jack Posobiec called Thought Crime. And as you see, they're still seething about Miss Rachel. We talked about Miss Rachel last week. She is a YouTube influencer for toddlers, literally. And she made a post on her personal Instagram account or TikTok account saying, hey, I love you if you're gay or LGBTQ+. Uh, thank you for being you. I support you and celebrate you this month and every month. It was incredibly harmless. Conservatives threw a conniption fit. And now Charlie Kirk is trying to, I guess, out homophobe everyone else who is melting down about this. Now, I told you why I think that the Daily Wire folks specifically are going after Miss Rachel. I think it's because they want to direct all of the conservatives who watch to subscribe to their children's program stuff. So it's a little bit of a grift, right? But Charlie Kirk is going to take things so much more far. And this comes after, by the way, he basically just came out as a racist not that long ago saying that whenever he sees a black pilot, he thinks, oh, is that person qualified because of DEI? It's not because he's racist. It's because, you know, DEI, according to him. But here's what he says now in response to the Miss Rachel stuff. So she takes off the Miss Rachel costume and the uniform, etc. And she comes back and says, by the way, Miss Rachel does not wear a costume or a uniform. It's just the lady in overall. So I'm not really sure what he's talking about here. But to be fair, we're mid clip. But let's let's listen. And she's like, now I'm just talking as Rachel. And she goes, the reason I'm this way is because I'm Christian. And in the Bible, it says, love your neighbor. And really, I approach people in love. And if you're not doing that, I guess you're not really following the Bible. She didn't say I mean, she, she didn't say it like that. He's correct. But is she not right? Well, apparently not, because they want you to, I guess, follow the Bible of the old or the God of the Old Testament, where he's like committing genocide and killing people. So she's following Jesus's word. They're following the Old Testament. Same Bible. You know, one is just a little bit more egalitarian and they can't have that. Even though she's a Christian, they can't have that because she's saying gay people. OK that part you're not following the bible but that was kind of the, yeah, the underlying the, piece there so charlie 28 what, what, what's going on with that well let's let's, let's let her let's let her say it 120 i'll respond and then i got a dash i've shared prayers on here before and said god bless and that's because my faith is really important to me and it's also one reason why i love every neighbor oh, oh and just to be really clear i should say this she's posting all of this on tiktok and instagram she's not uploading these videos to her youtube channel where the kids watch so she's just like expressing herself personally. She's off duty here. But yet they're still flipping out because she happens to be pro-gay, but also entertains kids. I mean, if you are going to, you know, take your kid to day daycare, are you going to vet them to see if they're pro-gay or anti-racist? I just I don't know what the expectation is. I think they just want to find a reason to be mad, but I'll shut up and let her continue. In Matthew 22, a religious teacher asked Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And Jesus says to love God and to love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. There's no greater commandments than these. I believe it's mentioned eight times, love your neighbor. So yes, everyone belongs. Everyone's welcome. Everyone is treated with empathy and respect. It doesn't say love every neighbor except. There are so many reasons I stand strong in love stand with everyone. That's who I am. And the love back and the God bless if you disagree is genuine. Andrew? I mean, she just seems like a genuinely nice person. And they hate her for it. Because she's not saying, actually, we should stone gays. Well, she's not allowed to call herself a Christian, according to these dipshits. I would just... To Jack's point, I'm dying to know. Like, what do you think when Miss Rachel quotes scripture uh, in that way? I mean, Satan's quoted scripture, scripture plenty. <laughs> it, it doesn't just say love your neighbor, though. It does say love well, your neighbor, except in a sense. As yourself. But I mean, if you read the Bible, it says a lot of shit. There's scriptures in there that say that you have to chop off your wife's hand if she grabs the nutsack of a guy that you're fighting with. I can't remember where that's at. But we've gone over it on the show before. Like, the Bible has some deranged shit in there. Talking pigs, talking snakes. But also, Jesus saying, hey, this prostitute is my friend. Sex work is work. That's what Jesus says officially, verbatim. Uh, no, but I mean, like, there's so much in the Bible. So she's choosing to follow the parts that are more 
loving because I, I think that she's just, you know, that's a representation of who she is as a person. And if you want your religion to be relevant in the future, you kind of need to adapt and forget all that old ass testament bullshit of, you know, genocide and whatnot. But I'll hear him out. But hold on. She's not totally wrong yes, when she says, yourself. first of all, the first part is Deuteronomy 6, 3 through 5. The second part is Leviticus 19. So you love God. So you must love his law. How do you love somebody? Here we go. Here we go folks. You love them by telling them the truth, mm. not by confirming or affirming their sin. And it says, by the way, Miss Rachel, you might want to crack open that Bible of yours. In a lesser referenced part of the same part of scripture is in Leviticus 18, is that thou shall lay with another man shall be stoned to death. <laughs> Just saying. But isn't that a bit contradictory? Doesn't that speak to how your Bible is really flawed and maybe you shouldn't take anything too seriously, right? Shouldn't you just take the good and disregard the bad? Furthermore, are you recommending that we stone gay people? Because it kind of sounds like you're saying that. I mean, if you're a Christian and you think that we should follow the Bible literally, then do you want to stone gay people, Charlie? Who's going to do the stoning of gay people? I mean, this is what he's saying in the year 2024, the year of our Lord and Savior. And it's crazy because... This individual, he's further and further slipping into radicalism that's much more similar to the likes of Nick Fuentes. But yet he still has a lot of institutional report, uh, support with Republicans. But he's making himself such an extreme figure that he's going to get the Nick Fuentes treatment to where Republicans who associate with him, it becomes a bit of a scandal. I know that their standards are so low that they don't really care, but he keeps saying overtly racist and homophobic things. And he's going to make himself a pariah in the Republican Party, where currently he's got a good thing going, right? He hosts Turning Point USA and has all these speakers, including President Trump, right? By the way, you've got Steve Bannon. Isn't he going to be in jail soon? So I don't know how you're going to get him there. June, or maybe it's not going to be until later. But anyways, oh, so it's June 14th through 16th. We've got to look out for that because that's going to be a, that's going to be a hoot. So, Miss Rachel, you quote Leviticus 19, love your neighbor as yourself. The chapter before affirms God's perfect law when it comes to sexual matters. Okay, yeah, so yeah, basically he wants to uh, stone uh, gay people. Cool. Very, very, uh, very open-minded of you. Uh, speaking of being open-minded, um, so we've got this individual here, uh, Michael Knowles, who was the star of of some film i don't know if he was a star actually to be fair but he played a gay character and fucked a dude in the film but um here he is saying that we need to be even more draconian so you have charlie kirk saying let's stone gays or i'm not saying it the bible saying we should stone gays i'm just the messenger don't shoot the messenger right that's what i'm assuming he'd say to defend himself and then we have michael knowles here saying we need to suppress the free speech of liberals after crying about free speech for how long now conservatives are like actually we really just meant free speech for fascists when we said it. Was uh, about how we need to thank you. How we need to suppress the the speech of liberals, <laughs> not the legitimate speech of liberals, but the kind of speech that liberals regularly engage in. Specifically, the obscenity, the crazy pride parades, all this wackiness. I said we need to actively go in there and enforce standards and norms. So he he's saying here. He wants to actually shut down pride parades and the uh, bad words that liberals use because I guess it offends him. I mean, listen, the Republican Party in 2024, they are as extreme as they've been perhaps ever. I mean, the things that they're saying 10 years ago, even though we knew that they were kind of headed in this, this direction, you would think, man, there's no way they're going to go that far like maybe you're gonna find a pastor here and there that calls for the stoning of gays but they're fringe maybe you'll hear you know some right-wing radio host say yeah we should shut down the free speech of liberals but i mean this is so common now they're just saying it uh so you know that's something that everybody needs to pay attention to because this extremism is only getting worse and there's kind of this race to the bottom that we're seeing where they're all trying to out extreme each other so that way they get attention because we're also in this culture where rage bait is rewarded by social media, by algorithms. So by saying the most insane shit you can say, that also gives them more popularity. And, you know, you hate to see it. And I don't know if they're just doing it for the grift. I don't know if it's sincere or not. But either way, 
I'm not going to, you know, uh, make the mistake of thinking, oh, they're not serious. No, when they say we should stone gay people, when they say we need to shut down pride parades and restrict the free speech of people who we disagree with, I'm taking that as a threat because it is. Mom. I'm gay. Gay. Gays. Gays. Mom. I'm transgender. transgender.